Thank you so much for tuning in. It's been a while since I did a comparison video, but it was bothering me that I could not find a comparison video on these two newer lights. But I just want to go over some specs with you um, and talk about these two great lights, all right? So off the top, um, got some notes here. Um, what are similar? Both have Bowens mounts, so that's pretty much adaptable across the board. Um, the Vision 4 is set to do a thousand full powered um, flashes, where the Vision 4 is only set to do 500. Uh, I haven't had to get there with either one of them, and I charge my lights after every shoot, so I'm don't not sure if it's something that I will ever see. Uh, maybe one day if I'm running really uh, low on time and I don't have the time, but at some point I would think that I'll be able to charge my lights. Um, price. Right now you get the Vision 4 for about 200 bucks, give or take. Um, you might be able to find it on a, a secondhand site, Facebook Marketplace, OfferUp, um, Craigslist. Um, different folks are selling these lights. So while they're selling for about 200 new, you get one for about second hand for maybe about 100 bucks. I've seen pretty, some pretty good deals on that. The Vision 5 is uh, slightly more. It's about $400. Uh, once again, give or take, you can get it on some second hand sites for a little bit cheaper as well. Uh, happy hunting, it just depends on who is trying to get rid of equipment and your negotiation skills, all right? So we're looking at about $400, $200. Now, this is from 2017. This is 2019. So this light here is about five years old, and this is about three years old. Now, both is going to do a pretty good job. I was using the Vision 4 for about two years before I even got the Vision 5. All right. Now, what would make you want to switch? Let's see. Um, now, they're both newer lights. They both have the 2.4 TTL flash and they both work with multiple brands. So this could work with Nikon, Sony, Canon. Their mount will fit, their, their triggers will fit on multiple cameras. Um, so that is the great plus of the newer brand. It's not restricted to just one camera. Well, these particular lights in, indeed. All right, now we have 300 watts with the four. We have 400 watts with the Vision 5. Weight. The Vision 4 is slightly more at about seven and a half pounds, and the Vision 5 is at three, about four pounds, 3.9, four pounds, okay? Um, now, something that's important to some folks, your replacement batteries, because if you're on site, you want to have multiple batteries. The battery for the Vision 4 is about 60 bucks, where the, for the Vision 5, it's about $70. So not much of a difference there. Um, now, the big, big, big difference between these two lights are their triggers. This is the Vision 4 trigger. This is the Vision 5 trigger. Now, the Vision 4 trigger triggers this light, all right? Um, the, the Vision 5, this trigger can actually trigger the Vision 4 and the Vision 5 and multiple other lights that have the TTL technology. Um, is this worth the extra $200? To some folks, probably not. You can get a trigger that does this very similar for about a hundred bucks and still save yourself about a hundred dollars. But this allows you for upgrades in the future, all right? So that was my quick comparison between the Vision 4 and the Vision 5. Once again, price range, this is going about 200, this is about 400. If you're buying a second hand, you can probably get both flights for a but cheaper, once again, depending on what your negotiation skills and what folks are trying to get rid of. Uh, about four pounds here, seven and a half pounds here. Both great studio flashes, both great outdoor flashes. Uh, look online. I'm probably going to do a more in-depth review of the Vision 5 just because everything is in another language. And I want to, you know, as us American English speakers, I would like to hear something within with someone speaking English, all right? One thing to really consider with both of these lights, whether it's the Vision 5 or the Vision 4, is your equipment, all right? With the Vision 4, I started off with a softbox where the light was inside the softbox. 
What that meant is every single time I needed to make any adjustments, I would have to take down this the softbox, not the whole softbox, but the actual screen, adjust the lighting, and then put it back together. With the Vision 5, because I could control that from the trigger, I wouldn't need to do that. Something for you to keep in mind. Now, if you have mounts that you don't need to necessarily, you can make your adjustments and your, your light source is not inside the softbox, neither one works. But in that situation, like I have for a number of years, the Vision 4 was a bit of a setback simply because it took more time for me to take down the screen, adjust the settings, test it, and then go back. But once again, as a beginner photographer, it's kind of one of those things that you're kind of learning and going, but something to keep in mind.